Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Um, this has been a video that I've been meaning to make for such a long time. Excuse the noise, I'm in a parking garage. I just got done with my second baby appointment. Um, those are always like, they make me so nervous. I don't know if every mom is nervous when she has her baby appointments, but those appointments, like I'm always like so nervous. I'm a nervous wreck. And I had wanted to just show you my appointment and actually like film when I was in there, but I was, I was like a ball of nerves. So I obviously didn't get to do that, but hopefully like I can do that on my next appointment. On this video, I just wanted to share how I knew I was pregnant before I actually took a pregnancy test. And this is actually like something that I had to think about because I, I feel like I had symptoms, but I just ignored them because I had been taking tests for six months already at that point and getting negatives. And you know, like when you're in your head so much, you just think everything is a symptom. So I have my book that I actually wrote down all of the symptoms that I remember having and thinking like, wow, that was, how did I like miss that? How did I not realize that that was like me being pregnant? So I wrote um, my notes down and I'm gonna share with you how I knew. I just wanna say, sorry this video took so long to make. Um, I've been so sick. I'm. This pregnancy has been a blessing for sure, for sure. I am so blessed and I'm so thankful for this pregnancy, but I have been really, really sick. Where like, where I can't even look at my phone to answer text messages or DMs or anything. So it took me so long to actually get to film this video and I'm so sorry for the delay. I'm not trying to be secretive or private or anything. I want to share this journey with you. So I'm so excited that I feel better and I can film this for you. So let's get to it. I guess this would technically be like weeks zero through four. Um, it actually is, I want to say like zero through three because I took my pregnancy test. It was an early test. Um, it was very early and I'll, I, I'll tell you the story on that later, but, um, let's just say zero to four weeks. Th these were my symptoms. First of all, I was tired. I was tired. Like I actually had to nap when my kids napped. <laughs> so, so when my boys took a nap, I like would take a nap and it didn't like, it never occurred to me like that's not what I usually do, obviously, when my kids nap. That's when we do mom things, you know, like pay bills or edit videos or film videos, <laughs> like housework, laundry. That's what I normally do when my kids nap. And um, for those like zero to three, four-ish weeks, I actually took naps with them. <laughs> so that should have been like an aha moment. And then um, I couldn't finish a cup of coffee. Like I like literally couldn't finish a cup of coffee. And every morning I have my cup of coffee. Um, it's what helps wake me up and give me the energy to get through the morning. And I would make my coffee and like take a sip or two sips and it just wouldn't sit well with my stomach. And I didn't finish like my cup of coffee my cup of coffee. So, um, yeah, I stopped drinking coffee and that was weird. And then, um, I had a three day headache and it was miserable, miserable. Like, oh, it, I really suffered. Um, and I actually thought I had COVID <laughs> because some people have told me that have had COVID, um, they told me that that was one of their symptoms, a headache. And I was like freaking out. I remember telling my husband, oh my gosh, what if I caught the virus? And he just thought I was overreacting in my head. And I was weaning at the time. I was weaning Leo from breastfeeding. So 
I thought maybe, you know, my body was, maybe I was having a headache because of that. I didn't really know. But yeah, that was the symptom. And then um, my skin, it was really dry. Uh, that was weird. Skin just was like, just like, I mean, I didn't like have major breakouts, but it was weird. Like I was like, why is my skin being weird right now? It was dry on my face. And then um, my sense of smell. I could smell, like, I, I smelled everything, like, right away. And it's funny because, like, when you're pregnant, people say that sometimes, like, their the smell of their husband bothers them because it's, like, like, your husband and your children have, like, a smell. <laughs> not, like, a bad smell. Not, not, like, B.O., but we all have, like, I guess a smell. And some people, I some friends have actually told me that, like, they don't like being around their husband because this their husband's smell bothers them when they're pregnant which is so crazy but um yeah like i had like my sense of smell was really heightened i could smell everything um yeah it was weird i guess that was a huge symptom too this is the last one that will go into a little story time then uh i went to um, my mom's church group and we have a speaker usually every time and it's socially distanced completely safe for like we wear a mask everything and we had a speaker and her speech what she talks about was so moving that i remember like i gasped because like i like i i sobbed like i started crying and i sobbed and i'm pretty passionate but that was so unlike me like usually if i get emotional watching a sad movie or something like tears will fall but this was like a sob and I was like when it happened I was like <laughs> I just it did I was like what that's so weird like that's never happened to me her story was very moving and I thought maybe you know I just had like such a connection to her story or I just felt so moved by it but after that meeting is the night I found out I was pregnant I drove to the store and I picked up a test and it was going to be month seven of taking pregnancy tests. I like thought to myself, well, you know, maybe I was just emotional, but maybe not. Like maybe, maybe this month is the month that I get a positive and I grabbed the test and I was walking to like past the wine section and I almost grabbed like a bottle of wine because that's like what I normally do <laughs> when I take these tests I buy a test and I buy a bottle of wine because like when you're disappointed you just are like oh I'll just have a glass of wine you know I'm not pregnant anyways and um that was just kind of my routine the past six months like having a glass of wine whenever I got a negative so I walked by the aisle and I was just like should I grab a bottle? And then I thought to myself, no, like, I'm just not going to get one this time. Like, I want to be positive. Hopefully this test is positive and um, I, I'm just not going to get one. And let me just put a disclaimer. I don't drink a whole bottle of wine, but I would have a glass of wine whenever I got a negative test and just be like sad, you know all in my feelings but um that night for some reason I decided not to grab it I just grabbed the test I went home I took the test and you guys saw that it was a positive so um yeah those are my symptoms I feel like when I listed them all out that it was so obvious that I was pregnant like super obvious but you know when you have been getting six months of negative tests you don't want to get your hopes up you like you just put it in the back of your head and every time I've been pregnant which hasn't been a lot many times but for my first two pregnancies with my sons my symptoms at the beginning were different than this one like each of them were different and um, yeah so I was I didn't want to get my hopes up but if you are experiencing these symptoms I mean, I would pretty much say you, would pre you were pregnant. Let me know in the comments below what your first 
symptom of being pregnant was and if that's how you knew you were pregnant tell me your stories let me know what symptom you remember first that you had and if you like this video please be sure to hit the subscribe button turn on the little bell notifications so you can follow along on my pregnancy journey and i'm so excited thank you so much for all the positive messages all the congratulations i am so happy to share this journey with you and i just appreciate this community so much thanks guys